Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Ed Bud here. So we've got three key things within today's daily vlog. First off, bit of an update on training for today. Then we've got a question from my good buddy, Kev Burton, about treadmill training and which shoes you should use. And third, gonna answer some more viewer questions. There seem to be loads at the moment on the YouTube channel. So some of those questions that need a bit more explanation, I'm gonna go through those today. If you're a new viewer, please think about hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell for notifications down below as to when I launch my new videos. So some more training today in the Adidas Ultra Boost 20. Six miles in 47 minutes, 30 seconds at a pace of about seven minutes, 52 per mile. Keeping things nice and steady today, absolutely glorious weather outside. Summertime does appear to have arrived here in the UK. Make sure you stay indoors though, where well, you can go and sit in your gardens and things like that. And of course exercise once a day, but make sure you follow those guidelines and the rules that are in place in your area. I saw very few people out there today. It was exceptionally quiet. Just a couple of elderly people who were out walking, getting some fresh air. So I gave them a wave and said, please take care. Lots of mums out with the push chairs and their dogs, but everybody's keeping in line with those social distancing rules. It was a good chance to turn back the time today in terms of music. I noticed that The Strokes have got a new single out and a new album, actually. I think it's out next week. So I downloaded their first two albums to the Apple Watch from Apple Music. It's the thing I find easiest to use, really. So I'm kind of in that Apple ecosystem. And it was really great, actually, listening to that first album on the run today. I had a big smile on my face. It was reminding me of times when I had very few responsibilities and just used to worry about looking for vintage jackets and wearing my skinny jeans and buying sort of thin ties. And of course, wearing your Converse All-Stars. That was a big thing back then in the early noughties when I was a young man. Seems like yesterday. As I say, The Strokes have got a new album coming out next week. So do go and check that out if you think it might be your bag. Why, why people say that? It's your bag. What does it mean? Rapidly approaching that 100 miles now. So look out for the Adidas Ultra Boost 20 100 mile war and peace review at the weekend. I've got a lot to talk about that shoe. It's going to it's gonna take a long time, that review. It could be quite a considerable video. It could be quite a long video. But uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So I lowered that pace today in mind that I want to do a faster pace tempo run tomorrow in the New Balance Fuel Cell TC. Those of you that are waiting for my Fuel Cell TC versus Zoom Fly video, that will be coming very, very soon. So second on the agenda is treadmills. I know lots of you are turning to treadmills to get your runs in. Obviously not an ideal thing. It must be pretty warm as well now. I imagine quite a few people have got their treadmills in conservatories and now you've got the sun kind of beaming in and you know, your wife might be sat there doing Sudoku or something. Uh, in the conservatory as well. It could make for some interesting altercations. So my good buddy, your friend, my friend, Mr. Kev Turbo Burton has called in with a question to ask you, the viewers. Hey Kev. Hi Ed, hope you're doing well mate in the lockdown. Uh, quick question for you, I thought you'd be the chap to ask. Um, recently got a treadmill, looking to do plenty more miles because uh, I'm saving the lockdowns for my little doggies. Um, what do you reckon? I've got a choice of four shoes. I've got the Next Percents, I've got the Four Percents, I've got the trusty Pegasus 35s, and I've got my little Scorer shoes. Uh, these are basically a zero drop minimal shoes. Um, I think in, to a certain extent the advantage of those is I can sort of work on speeding up my cadence because it's always been super slow. So uh, just your thoughts, mate. Cheers, buddy. Bye. So in mind of Kev's question, I'm going to place that up onto the community section of the YouTube channel. So there'll be a poll there of which you can vote. So just to reiterate Kev's options there, he's got a pair of the 4% Flyknit, which I think is one of his favourites, really. He's also got the Flyknit version of the Next Percent, or the Kev Percent as it's called. He's got his trusty Pegasus 35 Turbos and his Scora Zero Drop shoes as well. And I understand his thinking about possibly using those, improving his cadence, uh, working on his form and stuff while he's using the treadmill. So which one do you think Kev should be using for his treadmill runs? Please go and vote on the community section and also put your comments and justifications in the comments section below. You know I love reading those comments. I really do enjoy it. I love seeing all the different opinions, the views, people passing on information to each other. It's a wonderful thing. Or as Ocean Colour Scene said, it's a beautiful thing. I think I personally 
go with the Pegasus 35 turbos. I know that Kev loves those anyway. They're his, one of his favorite shoes. He's got many pairs of them, I'll tell you that. I think it's the best combination of cushion, lockdown with the fly wires, and also durability. Plus he's got a good supply of them as well. Everyone else has got loads of tins of baked beans, and Kev's got loads of pairs of Pegasus 35 turbos. Love you Kev, stay safe. If you're wondering why Kev's opting to use his treadmill uh, to do some of his training, it's because he's got a couple of doggies and they need some walkings. So he's using his once a day exercise to do that for him. So go on you Kev. Oh yes, some viewer Q&A now. I love doing these. So John Tay asks if I would use the Alpha Fly or the Vapor Fly in a 5K road race rather than a flat, low stack height shoe, a traditional sort of racing shoe. I mean, when you consider some people are gonna be using this type of thing, some people might opt for this. There's a lot of foam there. Let's not forget the Alpha Fly's kind of gone, whoop, it's gone up a little bit in terms of weight. So that's gonna put a few people off. Certainly using it for a five or 10K. He's got a secondary question as well. And he asked me whether I think low stack height, flat racing shoes will become obsolete. So firstly, I think that there'll always be a case for having a lower stack height, flat racing shoe, more simplified, less cushioned, more responsive shoe. I don't think that cross country spikes are going anywhere. You need those spikes on those type of conditions. They're just, it would be <laughs> ridiculous. It would be like something from, uh, it's a knockout. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that over in the US, maybe in Canada, possibly not, but over in Europe, we used to have this show called It's a Knockout, which was just bonkers. People kind of doing these ridiculous activities, normally involving water or dressing up in some sort of outfit uh, in teams. Oh, it was just bottom, it was mad, it was mad. I think perhaps after the pandemic has subsided, and it will, that we need to bring that back. It's a knockout, that'll be good. Over the last 12 months, I've seen more and more people opting for the Vaporfly 4% and Next% percent on 5K and 10K races. I'm talking road races here, not trail races. I can't see people wearing those. That would not be a good idea. They have a lot of turned ankles. I've used the Crimson Colorway 4% Flyknit and my Gakuso model as well, and got some great times. Got under 20 on the 5K I was really pleased about, and very close to 40 on the 10K distance as well. But I feel now that I'm at a point where a flatter, slightly less cushioned and more responsive shoe over short distances for me. So I'd probably go with something like the Takumi Sen 5. 5? This is the Takumi Sen 6. I'd use something like the Takumi Sen 6 on a 5k race if there was one right now. If they suddenly said there's going to be some racing going on, I would be there with these. But that's just in my mind. It's, it's not a real thing. Really wish that was the case, right? It's such a weird time. I think I'd also consider using the Adios 4 from Adidas as well. I did use that on a 5k very early this year. I've really enjoyed it actually. It made me concentrate more on my form as I was running. I think I had a stronger finish to the race rather than relying on the cushioning of the Vaporfly. Jeremy YouTube, which is the username, asks a very interesting question regarding the next percent. It's related to the Echidin colorway. He's asked me if there's less Zumex foam in the Echidin colorway than there is in the original green and the pink edition. So I did get my measuring tape out to produce some primary information to answer this question. And the answer, Jeremy, is no, they seem to be exactly the same. I did allow a little bit for some compression on the Zumex foam on the pair I have with 100 miles, but they seem pretty much spot on. Jeremy has ordered himself a pair of the Valerian Blue next percent. Jeremy, I hope you enjoy those new shoes. There's nothing like a new shoe day. I have been using my Pegasus 36, uh, the green models, as casual shoes recently. I think I'm going to do a casual review of them. I think they're a really good all-round shoe, really, if you're a runner, if you're doing some walking, if you're doing some dog walking, possibly even removing some weeds and some foliage from your garden patio they can also do a really good job. So look out for that soon. Something a little bit different, hey? You know, why not? Why not do something different? Every day's quite similar right now. <laughs> so we need to do some different things. Last question on today's video is from Keith Isaacs. I don't know if he's related to Chris Isaac. Are you related to Chris Isaac, possibly? Blue Hotel. Oh, what a great tune. What's the other big hit he had? Chris Isaac. Oh, Wicked Game. That's the one. That's the one I'm thinking of. Wicked Game. Yeah, good tunes. Lovely voice as well. Anyway, let's get back on it. Chris Isaacs asks how the midsole of the Beacon and the Fuel Cell Rebel match up. 
I got my Rebels here. Actually feeling the midsole in these, I tell you what, the fuel cell stuff in here is definitely firmer than it is in the fuel cell TC that's just come out. Definitely firmer. The stuff in the TC is it's a lot more sort of squishy. It gives a lot more as you push your fingers kind of into the side. I think the TPU piece, Keith, on the midsole here really does create a bit of a pop. It's got a little bit more snap to it than the midsole in the Beacon. And the shape here in the midsole really does help to promote that midfoot strike to give you that propulsion. Another one for perhaps for 5K races here, guys, the Rebel. I'll get to try it. I know I will. It's just a matter of time. The Beacon has a slightly firmer midsole, I think, than this. The fresh foam in the Beacon is certainly different. Different formulations of that foam. I think it makes the Beacon an ideal daily shoe, really. Even for long runs at lower paces. Not saying that I would really recommend trying to do in the Fuel Cell Rebel. It promotes a very fast cadence and not really ideal for all scenarios that you might need while training. Stay safe, Keith, and thanks for your question. It's about time for me to mosey off and do some more stuff indoors, away from people. I think I might put my cowboy hat on and head out into the Wild West. We've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm glad I held back on playing that game until now. It's coming in handy. I almost forgot. A musical interlude. The sound of Macau Martin Butler. One of my favourite albums of all time. I think I've probably listened to it more than any other, maybe bar Elliot Smith's Either Or. So this has so many great tracks on it. Many of you will be familiar with the song Yes, it amalgamates Bernard Butler's superb 355 Gibson guitar playing with David McCalmont's beautiful voice. It's a huge release, a positive message of yes rather than no. Another highlight on here is a track called Although, which has a most beautiful, clean, bluesy guitar solo. It's just so simple, it's just so clear, like running water through your hands. The production on this album is beautiful as well, it's so warm. It feels like summer, it feels like sort of wood and trees. Everything feels very close to you. A really wonderful album. The Sound of Macau Martin Butler. Make sure you listen to this, it will undoubtedly make you feel good. Ah, oh, the other track, Tonight. Wonderful tune. Wonderful tune. David McCowan has a beautiful voice. Right, it's time for me to rock and roll out of here. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications below as to when new videos are launched. Give the video a thumbs up like, I'd really appreciate it, and comment below with any questions or answers. Remember to hit the poll on the community section of the YouTube channel so that we can help Kev out decide which shoes he should use on the treadmill. That's quite hard to say. Share the video with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.